to show you a rusted iron finish. Joe's already prepared the wall with two coats of Metal Effects acid blocking primer. The acid blocking primer differs from other primers in that it seals the surface and prevents the aging solutions and activators from penetrating through to the substrate. We let that dry overnight and next he rolled on two coats of Metal Effects iron paint. The first coat we allowed to dry for half an hour and the second coat one hour. But before you do that, mask off all unprotected surfaces as the rust activator will stain. I'm going to begin applying the rust activator by starting on the top of my surface, working my way across and then down. You want to be sure to hold your bottle about 8 to 10 inches away from the surface before applying. You want to be sure you saturate the entire area. And as you can see, it's starting to run and it's applying different textures in different areas. That'll be okay because this is the first coat and this will level off. It will naturally run down. Now at this point, I like to come in with the chip brush and actually start to smooth out a little bit of the drips that are starting to appear there. This will give more of a natural kind of a softer strie look to the finish. Once you finish the entire area, wait five minutes and saturate it again with the rust activator. In about two hours, the iron paint will start to react and turn into a rust finish.